was good was popping welcome to another episode of that deep 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 deep, deep. deep. deeper than Atlantis so on today's episode we're going to talk about Ego death. So, when we talk about the ego, and for those who are um, not familiar with the way that I'm using this term, I'm not saying the ego like, oh, I'm lit. Oh, I'm that. Oh, I'm that. Bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying in the egotistical type of way. I'm saying the ego of the mind. The ego that lies in between the subconscious, the id, and these hidden dark spaces of the mind. Remember, the brain is just mush matter that's inside your skull. The mind is your connection to the infinite. The mind has no location specifically. So that's what I mean by um, the ego of the mind. The ego is what separates the higher realm of the mind and what you want to call the lower realm of the mind that connects to the brain. The ego sits in between that. So it covers a lot of shit. It, it, it hides and masquerades you from knowing who you really are. That's what the ego does. The ego makes you feel like your name is John Smith. That you are John Smith. The person that works at Xfinity. And does cable work. That's not who you are. I really truly believe. That the ego of the mind. Was actually. Um, engineered by our creators. And placed there. To keep us. Uh, good worker bees. You see you have to have the ego in place. So you don't access certain circuitry of the the brain function or certain circuitry of the mind function to kind of understand that ye are gods. And they don't understand that ye are gods. Is it not written in your law that ye are gods? John chapter 10, verse 34, 37. And the scriptures cannot be broken. You see, we fell into the physical realm and we were the gods of the prior universe. So it's there by design. But most importantly about this video, what I really want to discuss is how many layers of the ego there are. See, as you grow up from being a child, uh, from the Ruta to the Tuta, when you come into this earth plane, right? Um, so many situations and circumstances start to mold you. So anytime that you feel um, accepted, there's an ego layer that comes over your, your brain or over your consciousness or over your sense of being. There's a layer like a jacket. You put on a new ego jacket. Now I have this new ego jacket. People like me when I rap and sing. You know what I'm saying? There's another layer of an ego jacket um, um, for the ladies. Oh, uh, the guys like my shape. I have a nice shape. There's another layer of an ego jacket. And then what happens is we start putting on all these ego jackets and we start to believe that we are who we're dressed as when really we're just playing dress up. So what tends to happen even sometimes when you're not accepted, when you get teased or made fun of, oh, look at his shoes, oh my God. There's another ego jacket of protection 
that starts to um, add to your already thick ass armor of jackets of the ego. So now you're this person who you think that you are. You're not really this person, but you think you're somebody who looks like you or looks like this vessel. I don't know. Right. What happens at some point? You got to kill. The ego. You have to kill the ego because the ego is what makes you constantly want to be happy. You constantly want acceptance. You constantly are chasing something that never really happens because you'll never be totally accepted by everyone everywhere. You'll never totally have total happiness outside of the jackets and you're searching for it. The ego, when you kill the ego, what happens is release. What happens is um, what's the word? You you surrender. You surrender. You surrender. You surrender and you let whatever happens in the universe happen. Then you become patient. When the ego death happens, you start to have patience. You start to actually really become happy because you're not stressed off of trying to be happy. The stress off of trying to be happy and trying to fit into all these boxes and all these acceptance circles causes stress and unhappiness. Trying to find a perfect job, trying to find a way to make a lot of money. Not saying that having a lot of money in a perfect job is bad, but you, once you surrender to the worry about it, you kill some of the ego jackets. Personally, for me, I'll go a little bit personal. Personally, for me, what happened on one of my huge jackets, one of my huge jackets that I had was I was a rapper. I'm a rapper. Can't don't don't nobody have more bars than me right now. Who want it? Who got bars right now? Right. And my rap stint started from when I was a child. I wasn't a adolescent or a teenage rapper or a young adult rapper. I was a child rapper. So that's all I knew. But at some point when I started to kind of run on all cylinders and things started to click as far as being aware, I don't want to say conscious, but being aware, um, it started to become harder for me to rap. Reason being is rappers are fucking liars. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, because they're lying to themselves, just like carpenters are liars, just like uh, electricians are liars. In a way, you think that I'm electrician. This is what I am. No, you are a being in a flesh suit. Find your purpose, right? So, but I'm just I'm when I say that liar thing, I'm I'm being really general. Okay, so don't take it to heart, right? But what I'm saying is, me being a rapper caused me to lie because like say I'm busting, I'm, I'm spitting a rap. Um, I'm pulling up, hopping out keys to the whip girls falling out. Don't even trip. I don't know. Whatever. Right. That's not actually happening. I'm actually in a recording booth rapping. You can call it imagination, but it, it's, it's not real. You know what I'm saying? It's not real. It's not happening. There was no females there. No one was falling out. Right? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it started to become harder and harder to lie. Rap rappers are just good actors, and actors are just good liars, right? So I had sadly me killing the ego made it difficult to write. Not say that I can't do it or couldn't do it. It just made it difficult to where it became uncomfortable. 
Now, I could have become a conscious rapper and been Kendrick Lamar. I let Kendrick have it. So, um, that was one of my first huge ego deaths. But what I've noticed over time is that as time goes on, I start killing more layers of the ego off. I start killing it. I start not living up to what I expected to be at the age of seven. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, how are you carrying the same mindset that you were when you were seven into your adult years and trying to fulfill them? Sometimes it works out, but for the most part, that was a seven year old mentality that you're still trying to live out. But that happens to all of us on certain levels. So the key is, is to, to actually sit with self, sit with self, and over time, um, it should reveal to you, or should happen naturally, these layers that you should kill off. These layers of the ego that should go away. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying this becomes some stuck up uh, uh, ho, ho tepper. You know what I mean? No tep, ho tep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, peace, beloved. Oh, peace. Oh, I don't do that. That's beneath me. No, nah, balance it out. Don't, you know, be for real. You know, be, be realistic. But what I'm saying is there are just a lot of bad habits and bad ego jackets that need to be killed. And over time, you'll start to see as you get older that a lot of these things start to fall off. This is why older people are very honest because a lot of their ego jackets have fell off. They don't care no more. They chalk it up to old age. But what has happened is those those ego jackets have fell off. They don't fit their school clothes no more. You see what I'm saying? You grow out of your school clothes is basically what I'm trying to say, because if you look at it. Who has the least ego? babies and older people babies have don't have ego because they haven't put hell of those jackets on you're catching them while they're young you're catching them while before it happens and life puts it on them once you get older those jackets start to fall off and i'm just saying man um if you're you know maturing you're getting up into you know what i'm saying 30 35 you know what i'm saying you're starting to see these jackets fall off man embrace the ride embrace it you know what I'm saying? And take videos like this that I'm dropping these jewels on and now be conscious of it and really have fun with it. Because once you start letting the shit go, shit start to get real smooth, man. Real smooth. And I haven't mastered it, but I'm learning. So just like always, I share because I care. You already know the drill. NewMysterySchool.com. Log on or not, but log on. Don't play. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Share the video. Let me get on my YouTube. All right. You already know the drill. Go.